This is pretty much how she left it. <laughs> it's actually in better shape than what she left it. And you said that there's the paint can, paint there's, can right, right there. The paint can. Tell me about Libby. <sighs> was always very busy. Had her hands in everything. <laughs> always wanted to make everybody laugh. Wanted everyone to be happy. She just, she was a free spirit, you know, so like nothing, she was fearless. She, nothing scared her. She did everything herself, do it myself. Always so smart and so full of, of life. Like everything, she was always happy, laughing. She was just everything. She was the glue that held everything together, honestly. Libby and Abby grew up just minutes apart in the quiet countryside just outside downtown Delphi. Kelsey and Libby at the time had been living with their grandparents, Mike and Becky Patty. Maroon, it hasn't been used, it's been left. It's been turned kind of into a shrine. That's just her, you know, and the stuff all over her room, the mess, the, the Libby is still there. She had wanted to repaint her room. It was a lime green, and she wanted to paint it purple, and I kept saying, I, I don't have time right now. We'll get it painted. And finally, she said, Grandma, just let me do it. And you know, she did a wonderful job. She had just finished painting it. Uh, her paint can is still sitting there. Uh, one of the outlets doesn't have the cover on it because she didn't have it on yet, and we've just left, we left it that way. That's how it was left. I guess that is how long it took. Last weekend, Kelsey and I decided it was time. Time to walk into Libby's room and do something. Time to go in and make it presentable in case we ever need an extra bedroom. So we did, together. Kelsey said it might be therapeutic for me to do this. Don't know if that was the case. I never wanted to take this step because it went along with the feeling that it was one more step to Libby disappearing from the world, an acceptance that she was never coming home. But I am learning that is not the case. Libby will never be forgotten. She will always be here, in our hearts. So we went in. We went through her dresser drawers and sorted things into piles. One to keep, one to donate, and one for trash which included underwear and socks, which, by the way, wasn't a single pair of mates, because that was how Libby rolled. She never wore mated socks unless she got them out of my sock drawer. Her closet is now full of memories and treasures that we will always keep. We donated some of her stuffed animals and backpacks so others could also enjoy some of the things that made her happy. As much as I disliked that purple paint she picked out for her room, it remains. I ordered the quilts and curtains to go along with the colors that we didn't have time to do before that horrible day. We shampooed the carpet and scrubbed and scrubbed, trying to get that darn stain out from the paint she spilled. Finally accepted it is staying. We will be putting the room back together soon. It is done, but there are still many indicators in there that shows. She is still here and will always be. Libby, if you ever walk through that door, your bed is ready.